Skadara Starling again today and following on the theme that we've been doing so far over the last, I think this is our third time, in showing you how to style Kadara as a top. And as I keep saying all of the time, it doesn't cling, it drapes and it breathes. So the styles that you come up with, and you will come up with your own, will just be able to adapt to your lifestyle, your figure shape, whatever. Now the last style we showed you was a formal looking um, halter neck or cow neck, which is what I've got on now. And we achieved that, as we recall, simply by pulling the sleeves out, doing a tight double knot, stretching it away so it's a little knot, let it drop, then you've got like a little sundress style, giving it a shake. And we did two options. We did one off the shoulder and we did one over the head and the over the head one, of course, becomes your halter. Now, when I wore it last time, I had it on with wide legged, um, very sort of flowing palazzo pants, which gave it a really lovely evening effect. And I adorned it with some pearls, which made it really special. So all I would take traveling to achieve that outfit would be my pearls because the Kadara has done everything else. But what I'm doing this time is to show you the difference between having that, that cowl neck or the, the, the bottom of the halter which to me comes down quite low because as we all know, I'm quite short. It is probably perfect and I know it is. If you've just got to look at Sue Ellen and what she's doing, uh, accidental publicist with what she does with Kadara, she's tall and she gets away with it like this because she's got a longer body. I'm squatty. So for a squatty girl, I suggest, instead of having that hanging down a little low, which is acceptable, but you know, it's not everybody's thing, just get the center of it and about as wide as your shoulders. And we're gonna tuck that inside what we're wearing. Now, I'm gonna try and adjust this as best I can without kind of looking in the mirror. You can do this over jeans. I've done it over shorts. I wore it in Portugal over a pair of uh, denim shorts in this style. And people asked me if I was wearing a Kadara as a vest. And I guess it has that kind of little vesty look. But look how beautifully that's draped. And that's without me looking in the mirror. Admittedly, I've got on elasticized waist pants that have got lots of room for me to play around with, but that's just a great casual look. Um, and I'm sure you'll agree, it looks fabulous and it's just a variation on a theme. Now I'm gonna take it one step further and show you if you're not fussed on your arms being exposed, you can simply just slide that back and just adjust it. And you've still got your back nice and bare for coolness, but you've covered this sort of soft part here that we all find um, a little difficult to, uh, to cope with. So that is the, the halter neck tucked in to create a little blue on top that's draped to the back. Covered your shoulders by draping it back over your shoulders. And now I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna go back to when it was off the shoulder on one side, the Grecian style, and that's simply just give it all a shake and take it over one side. And the reason I'm doing this is just an illusion of covering this kind of flabby bit of our arm is enough. You've still got the coolness underneath and the way this is draped, it's kind of detracting from it. But if you find this other arm is worrying you because it's bare, just grab a scarf and I'm gonna show you now what I mean. I'm gonna use a plain scarf because I've got printed legs on, but you just get a scarf and you fold it in half and you fit that underneath your bra strap, flick it over, sort of spread it out a little bit. This is a thicker scarf than I'd normally be using, but just kind of create your own little cap sleeve on the opposite side. Sorry, I'm trying not to cheat by looking in the, the mirror. And then you've kind of created a double illusion on both sides and nobody's looking at the upper arms. They're just looking at how this, this fabulous outfit looks as a result of what you've done with your Kadara. And we all know about Kadara, it's not what it is but what it does and what you can achieve if you have one. Bye for now. Kadara, one dress that can be worn 20 different ways. Imagine going from a dress to a skirt or a top to harem pants in just seconds. The Kadara dress can be converted into styles to suit all ages and sizes and is great value. Replacing many items in your wardrobe, it's also perfect to wear during travel to help you travel light. Kadara, fashionably fabulous for every occasion.